here just as the sun is coming up. Look at that, it's beautiful. But I've got a charter this morning. My clients are gonna be here in about 25 minutes, so I'm just getting set up. We just grabbed some fresh dead shrimp from Janung's fish camp, and they open up early just for me, so I feel very privileged. Let's get these lines out the water and see what we can catch. Getting this first rig set up, but I thought I would let you see this sunrise. It is coming up. It's so beautiful. It's always so great to watch the sunrise on the beach. But I've got our silver rig here that I'm setting up. Uh, this is unique to Fishing Girl. We are finding unique products, unique items that we can provide for people for fishing that are working. I'll do shrimp on the higher one. And let's try blue crab. But uh, we'll, we'll put fresh dead on here. And with this, I'm definitely gonna take the shell off because the fish will grab that shell and they will just run with the shell only. So if you take the shell off, they have less chance of getting the shell and not the actual shrimp. Cast, I'm gonna walk this out a bit. I wanna see how deep this is. Extremely clear. Just kinda toss it out there. All right, we got the fishing girl pink rig. I'm putting some salted shrimp on this. So I've got um, the purple coquina clam and then the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, electric chicken crab fish bites on here. I'm gonna try to get this one out a little farther. Stagger my lines, so that one out far. Perfect, that's just past that other sandbar out there. About where I cast that one, that distance, I think I'm seeing dolphins there. That can either work for or against us. So I'm not sure what happened, but my sinker, my line just snapped. Whew. I'm getting hit by the waves, but I'm really trying to find my, my Sputnik. Because uh, number one, I don't want to lose a Sputnik. Number two, I don't want someone to step on it, but I don't know if it was like wrapped around the top and I didn't notice or what. But it really, you can see my rig, it snapped my rig, it snapped my, my line. I'm not sure what's going on, but I got my clients here, so I can't spend a lot of time figuring it out. Okay, I'm gonna reel it up to get tension. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you can kind of brace it against your leg if you want, holding it, see how I'm holding it here? Yeah. It kind of gives you some power. And then you're gonna reel fast so that you keep tension on the line. There you go, you can brace that on your, on your belly or on your thigh, and then just real fast. Sometimes this, the sinker will stick in the, in the sand, so it'll make it a little bit harder, but yeah. Just keep reeling, keep reeling. You got it. Is it kind of hard to reel? It could be the, the sinker sticking. You feel the fish fighting on there too? Yep. Awesome. That was a good hit. This is, whatever's on there is making a ruckus. Yep. Oh, there, I see it. It's coming in. I wonder what fish it is. I don't know. It's kind of going back and forth. We cross our fingers for a pompano, but <laughs> we never know. Yeah. Oh, that is, that's a palometta. I can tell because it's got these long fins. <laughs> He's the, not even letting you touch and it. And then you see these vertical lines on the sides? Yeah. So that tells me it's a palometta. I'll take this guy off because he's got some spikes and I don't want you to get hurt. So I'm gonna hold him because right down here, see those two spikes? Ooh. And he's got one, two, three, four, five of them, just like a pompano. That's a good first catch. Mm -hmm. We are not skunk, so yes, we can. Take a bite. So what you'll do is you're gonna Thank turn you. this to the left to tighten it, make it real tight, and then you're gonna lift it straight out. Mm -hmm. And then start reeling it like you like you were doing before. That is actually a Jack Creval. Is that good to eat? Uh, we don't normally eat these. Um, people like, use them for bait, but that's a pretty good size. I mean, it's not huge, but that's... Do you feel them fighting good? Yeah. Some people say this fish is one of the best fighting fish out there. So that's <laughs> that really cool. Spikes so we got, on it? Um, he may have a few. Let me reel this up a little bit higher. We'll bring him back to the cart and get him off. And you should be able to hold him. 
spikes. Oh, he does have spikes. He's got two down here. He's got a couple spikes in his um, in his fin. Okay, so, so I may be able to But hold you can hold him. Like here at the front, he's making some noise. The front and hold him by his tail. His tail's really thick there. All right, so we'll we'll send Lucky back back home. You can throw him. Now we're not gonna like throw him. I'll show you how to Just release him. Just set him in the water. Because he might be a little tired. Set him right down. Set him down, but keep holding his tail a little bit. We'll let him revive. Oh, there he goes. Bye, Lucky. There goes Lucky. So they see dolphins. I'm looking to see how far out they are. And we'll know if we need to pull our lines in or not. Oh, there they are, yep. If you look out. This what? Yeah. This is almost like it's oh, something up. There's something real close. Yeah. Whoa. I don't think I've seen him that close before. That's amazing. Keep it reeling. Doing great. Can you feel it fighting? Yep. Nice. Oh, there it is. He's over here. I was oh. looking over here and he's over there. Good job. Let's see, I think it's a, oh, that might be a pompano. That, that is a pompano. Oh, yeah. But it's probably, it may be too small. We'll see how big it is. Yeah, he's definitely too small, but we'll, we'll measure him just for giggles. He's only a little over nine inches to the fork in the tail, so he has got to go back. It went slack. Yep, reel it up. And hang on just a second. Let me tighten it. There you go. Reel it, reel it, reel it. Keep reeling. Yep, make sure there's no slack. We don't want him to pop off. Oh, he popped off. That, that can happen really easy close to shore. They can pop right off the line. 